Goats will eat anything. Goats are picky. Goats eat tin cans. Ghost weighs so much hay. Which is it? Well, it's all of them. Goats are picky, but they knew nibble on most anything. They are curious, so they have gotten the tin can wrap. But they do waste a lot of hay, which is quite annoying actually. But because goats like to nibble on most anything, that can put them in danger for toxic reactions to certain plants. If you do have these plants around your property, you will want to make sure that they are removed or fenced off properly so that the goats can't get into them. You will also want to make sure that your fencing is strong and goat proof to keep them where they need to be. Escaping goats can not only eat your neighbor's prized flowers, but they can make themselves sick from the plants they eat. Your goats can react in three ways. Number one, their rumens will become upset until the toxins are removed. Number two, sometimes it will cause photosensitivity to the light. Number three, it can cause death in large doses. So as you can see, this is something serious to take care of and make sure that your goats are safe from plants they might eat. All of this information and much more is covered extensively in our Raising Goats course. But right now, I want to go over the plants that will cause your goats problems if they get into them. I'm going to start off with the most toxic and the most common plants in alphabetical order. Azalea, Bracken or Bracken Ferns, Latana, Laurels, Nightshade, Periwinkle, Rhododendron, Wild Cherry, Oleander, Cockleburr, Poison Hemlock. If your goats are reacting to what they ate and are having a toxic reaction, it can cause them to have some very serious reactions, such as vomiting, diarrhea, convulsions and seizures, trouble breathing, too low or high of a heart rate, rumen blockage, respiratory and nervous system failure, and death. Pretty serious. They can also have less serious reactions that are really serious as well, such as pain, decreased appetite and dehydration, anemia, thiamine deficiency, depression, skin sensitivity to the light, liver damage, jaundice of the whites of the eyes, the gums and the skin, weakness, inflammation of the eyes, nose and mouth, staggering and confusion, and muscle spasms. So if you see any of these signs, you need to act immediately and treat your goat to lessen the effects and to help them get better quickly. You need to have milk of magnesia, activated charcoal and electric lights on hand to help your goat through the sickness and to give them the best chance for survival. Now I'm going to go through a list of less common and less toxic plants. These plants will only cause sickness when the goats eat them in large amounts of quantity uh, amounts of them. So if you do have a large amount on your property, you may want to consider fencing that off or just removing it completely. Here is the list. Milkweed, ponderosa pine, which causes abortions, pokeweed, daffodil, St. John's wort, which causes photosensitivity to the light, boxwood, lupine, larkspur, poppy, lily, the peach, cherry, and apricot wilted leaves will cause problems, wisteria, yew, and the choke cherry wilted leaves will also cause problems, burdock causes trauma, the burrs cause trauma inside them, foxglove, avocado, horse nettle, holly, which especially the berries, and red maple. And again, if you find your goat having a reaction, you need to get out your medicine cabinet and get to work getting your goat healthy and over the reaction. Do you have any of these on your property that you need to get rid of? I hope not, just because that makes it just that much easier for you. But I hope that this video gives you the idea that goats are not the tin can eating anything animals that they are portrayed to be. Take care of your goats by carefully planting plants that won't harm them and get rid of the ones that will. Your goats will thank you and you will be glad that you don't have to nurse them back to health.